take a look around. These illegally dumped tires are more than just an eyesore. They're a safety hazard, and residents in this Detroit neighborhood are fed up. Lead continues to be a serious problem for the city of Detroit, but at health clinics like this one, your child can get tested for free. Last week, tenants at the Russell Industrial Center were told they had to pack up and get out. But the city of Detroit decided today that they can stay put for now. Taking a deep breath is sometimes all we need to get through a stressful day. And at Thurgood Marshall, that is exactly what students got to learn how to do at their yoga recess. Family and friends of the missing 28-year-old Farmington Hills woman have reason to believe that she is being held against her will. Today in the state of Michigan, the presidential election recount is taking place. But volunteers here wonder, will it make a difference? The elevators are broken again at this popular downtown Detroit parking garage. Coming up, I'll let you know what the city of Detroit plans to do about it. Tensions are high this election season, and for the second time in two months, employees at this Chrysler plant have discovered racist graffiti spray-painted on the walls inside of a restroom. Promoting the KKK, disrespecting Hillary Clinton using profanity, and praising Donald Trump. These are pictures a Fox 2 News viewer sent to us from a men's restroom at a local Chrysler plant. One employee who wished to remain anonymous says the graffiti has caused a lot of tension. Yeah. The company sent us a statement which says, There is a zero tolerance policy regarding harassment and discrimination of any kind. Any employee found who violates this policy is subject to discipline and potentially termination. We are currently investigating this incident along with local authorities. Many co-workers are still scared to speak to one another in a report that tensions are extremely high. In Warren, I'm Ebony Bagley, Fox 2 News. It is our voice. You know, you can't complain about things if you're not going to vote to make a difference. So it's important for us to let sh children know at a young age that they do have a voice, that we can all make a difference in our society. And the wonderful thing about mock elections is, is that it doesn't just focus on presidential, the presidential race. They also get to be informed about what's happening locally um, on a local level here in their community as well.